यूनिवर्सल एंड इक्विटेबल एक्सेस ऑफ द ब्रॉडबैंड सर्विसेज अक्रॉस द कंट्री स्पेशली इन द रूरल एरियाज इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट विजन ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया एंड टू अचीव दिस टारगेट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज कम अप विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव दैट इज गति शक्ति संचार पोर्टल सो हेलो एवरीवन अ वार्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ इन द टुडे स्टॉप पे वी न्यूज सेशन इन व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द गति शक्ति संचार पोर्टल इन अ डिटेल मैनर सो हियर यू कैन सी द हेडलाइन फ्रॉम द पीआईबी दैट द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेलीकम्युनिकेशन हैज लॉन्च्ड द गति शक्ति संचार पोर्टल and in this session we are going to discuss this portal across all the important dimensions that basically which was the authority behind the development of this portal which has launched this particular portal apart from that what was the aim the advantages and the features of this particular portal so let's discuss this portal in a detailed manner so when we talk about that what exactly this gati shakti portal is all about so here you can see that it is basically a collaborative institutional mechanism between the different stakeholders that is central and state government local bodies and service providers and this portal is basically pro going to provide a single common platform to all the service providers which are basically filing the applications for the different telecommunication infrastructure works in our country and that is the reason that why this particular portal has been released so when we talk about this particular portal this portal has been launched by the department of telecommunication which works under the ministry of communication and when we talk about the authority which was basically behind the development of this portal so it was basically the madhya pradesh state electronics development corporation which has developed this portal on behalf of the department of telecommunications so now when we talk about the aim that is why exactly this particular portal was being launched so the aim of this is to basically for centralizing the right of way approvals see these are the applications which are being filed by the telecom service providers and the infrastructure providers in order to lay down the different telecommunication infrastructure across our country and that's how this portal is basically going to be a common single portal for the right of way permissions to all the state and ut governments and local bodies to which these authorities basically file applications with and that's why here you can see when we talk about the different activities for which they are uh, filing the applications these are laying down the optical fiber cable as well as for erecting the mobile towers so guys we all know that this particular portal is basically been launched keeping in view the areas the different areas under the national broadband mission which was launched on 17th of december 2019 and this mission basically facilitates universal and equitable access to the broadband services across the country especially in the rural and remote areas and to achieve the targets of this national broadband mission the government of india has come up with this particular portal so i hope that all these details are very much clear to all of you now when we talk about the features that what exactly is going to happen after the launch of this particular portal so this portal is going to basically smoothen the process of the right of way permissions as well as it will also lead to the faster approvals it will facilitate easy roll out of the 5g services with the laying off and erection of the mobile towers and apart from that it will also help in effectively monitoring of the right of way applications and also it is going to help the government of india to achieving the goal of the broadband for all apart from that it is also going to lead to timely disposal of these applications which will lead to speedy infrastructure creation across our country now when we talk about the different advantages of launching this portal it is basically the fast laying of more optical fiber cables across the country increased our density which will basically lead to the enhanced connectivity in our country apart from that it will also lead to increased fiberization of telecom towers which will ensure better broadband speed in our country so these are all the important details that you are required to remember from the exam point of view about this particular portal so now guys this is a time of the practice question in which you are required to identify the incorrect statement in relation with the gati shakti sanchar portal which was launched recently so what you are required to do you are just required to identify the incorrect statement by going through all these statements so whenever such kind of question comes what you are required to do you are just required to focus on the keywords that is here you can see that launched by the department of telecommunication which aims for centralized right of way approvals the second statement says it has been developed by up state electronics development corporation on the behalf of dot but as per our discussion it was basically the madhya pradesh state electronic development corporation and not the up state electronic development corporation that means 
This statement is incorrect. Now moving on to the third statement, it says that it is going to enable the applicants from various TSPs and IPs to apply to a common single portal for the right of way permissions to the state, UT governments and local bodies. That is absolutely right. So when we talk about the right answer to the question, the right answer will basically be option B in which the UP was wrongly mentioned. So I hope that this is very much clear to all of you. Now let's move on to the homework question from the previous session. And in the previous session, the question was basically you were required to tell me that who among the following has recently been appointed as the next chief election commissioner of India. And the answer is Rajiv Kumar who has replaced Sushil Chandraji. Okay? Now these are the list of the star performers from our previous session who have answered the homework question correctly in the comment section and if you also want your name to be mentioned here in the upcoming session then please tell me the right answer to this particular question. So recently the international cruise in, in conference 2022 that is the incredible incredible India international cruise conference 2022 was being held. You are required to tell me that this was held in which of the following places it was held in Mumbai, Kolkata, Surat, Jamnagar or Hyderabad. So do tell me the right answer in the comment section and I will be giving out your names as a star performer in my upcoming session. So if you have still not subscribed to your YouTube channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us and you can also join our telegram channel to get the access to the PDF of these sessions. To join the telegram channel kindly click on the link given in the description below. So guys this was all from the today's session. I really believe that this session was useful and fruitful to all of you. If you have any query you can drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in and you can also call us at 814-620-7241. So thank you for joining us. Wish you all happy learning.